Okay, welcome back. Now that we've got everything, uh, all of our assets in uh, their own artboards, we're going to export all of these things. So uh, to do that, we need to uh, go to File and choose Export. And from there, you need to make sure that the format is set to PNG. Um, and click on the Use Artboards checkbox. Now, if by default, it wants to export all of them. And that's what we're going to want for this. But you could, if you needed to, say you added an artboard and you only need to export that one, you could choose a single artboard or even a range of artboards. But for, ours, uh, for our project, we're going to do them all. We're going to click All, and then we're going to click, well, we're going to make give it a name. And I'm going to call this uh, Clock. And I'm going to save it to uh, the Clock folder. Uh, that well not that one uh, the illustrator files folder click export you'll get a preview click OK and I already have some files there that's okay I'm gonna replace them all then you patiently wait as it exports and then you're done in illustrator so I'm gonna minimize illustrator and I'm going to go uh, into my illustrator files folder and you'll see our files are here. I'm showing you the preview of each of these files. Okay. Now let's go ahead and open these up in Fireworks because in Fireworks we're going to be able to do some uh, changes to these files, make some changes to these files that are going to be required for them to work well in our Corona project. So one of the first things you'll notice about these things is all of this white space, or you'll notice the checkerboard. This is the transparent area of the image. We need to get rid of this. And in order to do that, um, let's start off with our um, clock face. In order to do that, we just go to Modify, choose Canvas, and then go to Trim Canvas. You can also do Command Option T and that will shrink down that area and it remove all the unnecessary white space. And You're going to do that for all the rest of these. I'm going to use the uh, keyboard shortcut to quickly knock these out. Okay, now let's go back to the, uh, the clock face. The next step is you're going to need to shrink down each of your assets so they fit inside of your application. Now with the config.lua file that I have uh, that I've been using and I've asked you all to use the uh, the width the maximum width of this clock should be no more than 760 pixels. Uh, it's an 800, 800 pixel wide screen uh, as far as scaling goes but 600 or 760 is ideal. So I'm going to go to Modify, Canvas, and choose Image Size. Now, here's a really good trick. Um, we're going to want to set this first value to percent. And we're going to set the second value, keep that at pixels. And I'm going to set that to 760. And that will give us the percentage we're going to want to shrink down our uh, objects. Now, that's a really obnoxious number to deal with, so I'm going to set that to 35%. Now, nah, that's a little too big. How about 33%? And we're going to, basically, I'm setting this, I'm going to shrink this down to 33% of its original side, size, which uh, equates to 752 pixels. Click OK, and now I have a smaller clock face. Now I'm going to go to the rest of these objects, and I'm going to go to Canvas, image size and I'm going to change these to 33 percent. Let's try that again. Go to modify canvas image size. Make sure you've chosen percent 33. Click OK. Okay, let's go to the next one. Modify canvas image size and just do this for all of your images. Finally, shine. Okay, now all of our images are saved to the correct size. I'm going to export these. Now, I like to use the image preview. Uh, 
uh, menu option here to do this because I can see and, and ensure that there's no background there. Make sure you choose PNG. You can be PNG 24 or 32. I think PNG 8 will work, but it just won't look as good because the color fidelity isn't as good. And uh, the default settings should work, so just click Export. And then give it the file name that is appropriate for that object. So in this case, this is the face. I'm going to call it Face. And I'm going to drop that into the Illustrator Files folder. I already have one there. That's OK. I'm just going to replace it. And the next one is our second hand image preview. Export. And second hand. OK. We did that. That, I believe, is our our hand so we're going to do file image preview uh, our hand and okay that should be our minute hand and okay and then finally hub Actually, finally, is the shine. Okay. All right. Now, um, I'm just going to exit Fireworks. And you'll see we have the saved files. Now, all I need to do is select all of these and just drag them into my clock folder. And these are now available for me to use in my main.lua file. Um, I'm just going to go in and replace all of my vector graphics with these. So when I come back, I'm going to show you those and uh, how they look. OK, I'm back. And I've placed my new images in my uh, project folder and uh, made some changes to my main.lua file. And now this is the result. Let me go ahead and zoom in on that simulator. And you can see the second hand, the minute hand, hour hand, all of these have been replaced by uh, the graphics I created. You can even see that shine effect that I've added. Now, one thing I should point out is the shine effect, um, in order to look right, you want to define that as the very last object, display object, in your Corona SDK project. Otherwise, you'll have the hands will float on top of that shine, which wouldn't be proper. So make sure you define that shine as the last thing. Um, also, these hands, uh, you know, they should be put in the order that makes sense. This dot here, this uh, center hub, should be on top of the other things as well. So that's how you create uh, the uh, digital assets for a clock and uh, use them in Corona SDK.